Hey you guys, what's good? It's your girl Dose of Jazz back again with another video and in today's video I am going to show you guys how I achieved this cute braided look, okay? Featuring Darling USA hair. This right here is the Darling USA Thrive hair and I use the color 1 and 27. It's like got this ombre effect. It's super, super pretty. Um, so yeah, it's premium quality pre-stretch braiding hair. And it looks like this, okay? Bomb, bomb hair. So this process was a little different. Um, I decided to have my friend help me part my hair. Um, she parted my hair for me in sections. She blow dried it out um, after I washed it. And then we just went ahead and kind of just like freestyled the braids. Um, I wanted to go so much for like a knotless look, but it didn't get that way, but it still looks cute, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this look. Stay tuned to see how I created this cute, simple look. Alright you guys, so we went ahead and we're starting off with some freshly washed detangled hair and I'm using the African Pride Olive Miracle Heat Protectant to apply on my hair before I blow dry it out. Just go ahead and get it blown just a little bit so it can be easy to place into plaits. I have divided my hair into 10 sections so I'm going to have 10 plaits around my head just to work with um, to apply the braids into my hair. Taking any kind of gel that you like, you want to go ahead and just smooth down those edges and make your ponytails across your head um, as smooth as you can. You really want this to um, your squares or your parts to look very smooth and crisp and all hairs intact and the parts straight as ever. So we're going to do this all around my head until every part is smoothed down and then we're going to go ahead and start applying the braid. So as you guys can see, my hair is a little thick, so I'm taking the African Pride Olive Miracle Foam Setting Mousse and I'm just applying that to my natural hair, kind of detangling it out a little bit to help it smooth and blend in with the braiding hair as we're braiding. So you're going to go ahead and split your hair amongst the braiding hair into three sections and braid down as you see here. Um, I had my friend go ahead and just braid some and then I braided the others. I kind of like the way I did it because her braiding was a little bit on the tension side but I will show you guys how I braided it down and it's pretty simple. You just want to make sure you're tucking and blending your hair in. With me, I have very, very thick hair y'all. So next time I will get a color. Um, braiding hair that matches the hair color of my natural hair so it can blend more but honestly I like the colors that it gives off it's very fun it's very summer festive so it kind of blends for me right now you see me detangling my hair and then applying that mousse to my hair before I start braiding it and I'm just going to show you guys up close what I did to apply the braids into my hair So when braiding, you need three sections of hair. I'm going to use my natural hair and two strands of the braiding hair to create my braid. And once my hair runs out and I get to the bottom of my natural hair, I will then split the braiding hair into a third section to continue on the process. All you have to do is make sure you're tucking and blending in your hair into the braiding hair and everything is going to look seamless and flawless.
All right, you guys, there you have it. There is the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you check out Darling USA Hair at Walmart stores nearest you. And um, yeah, I'm so, so excited. I really love this hair. It's, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell down below to get more uploads from your girl. And remember, do your thing, sis. Bye.